Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Palek. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Um, today I want us to have a chat about gut feeling or what sometimes people call um, our instinct. So have you ever had or experienced um, a strong feeling of unease about a situation or someone, a sudden discomfort or our suspicion about someone you've just met? Uh, most times you can't really explain these feelings logically, but you know something isn't quite right. Sometimes it is the opposite. Sometimes you might meet someone and you feel some unexplained connection or comfort with their presence. You get a sense of what we call affirmation or sometimes even before or after a big decision in your life, you know deep down that you've done the right thing and you are at peace with that decision. These feelings confirm decisions and even help us in the process of decision making sometimes. Some people describe it as that small inner voice in their head, you know, you know, this is what you call your instinct or what you call your gut feeling. So why then is it called gut feeling? Dictionary definitions of the adjective gut imply that we associate this term with the internal part or the essence of who we are. It is also related to the idea of courage or inner strength. I don't claim to have all the answers, but when I get these gut feelings, Sometimes I wonder whether I am hearing the Holy Spirit or is this merely my intuition? This is a very important question because I believe that there is a difference between our instinct as human beings and the Spirit of God because the Holy Spirit works beyond and above our physical human senses. The Holy Spirit guides and gears us towards God's will in our lives. However, for believers, our instinct is connected to the Holy Spirit and hence the Holy Spirit's wisdom is at the core of our being for as long as we have been Christians. What that means then is that when we trust our gut or when we trust our intuition, we are trusting the collection of our experiences as we have walked with God. Another important thing is that when we are aligned with the Holy Spirit, we get peace. Philippians 4, 7 says, And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. This peace that we're talking about defies understanding. It is not shallow. It is not fleeting. It is unshakable. It is deeper and truer than worldly peace. This peace can withstand any circumstance. Now, some people might say that your gut feeling is from God and therefore what your gut tells you um, is surely from God. Remember the Bible tells us that we should test the spirits because not all spirits are from God. If one consistently applies scripture to what they think is right, they can believe that they are acting in accordance with God's will. I'm sure you will agree with me that any decision we take that is rooted and grounded in the fairness, in the sincerity, the love, the mercy, the peace and justice without selfishness and vindictiveness is clearly the right direction. However, when I feel intense pressure to do something that runs contrary to my beliefs, obviously it's not from God. So if you feel intense pressure to rise to a challenge, consider if it is the right challenge at the right time. In conclusion, I believe that our life is made of those decisions and actions which all reproduce and create more decisions and actions. So keeping our goals and values in the forefront makes decision making easier. That is to say, it must all align and lead up to that bigger picture, your purpose in life. So lastly, when in doubt, pray and ask God to help you discern these feelings. I have come to the end of this video and if you like this content, please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also let me know down in the comment section what are your thoughts about, you know, your gut feeling and do you think that it's always the Holy Spirit speaking to you or do you have different thoughts about it? Um, let me know and until next time, stay blessed.